Hey guys, Mom Bell here. Welcome back to Cooking 101. Today we're gonna be making a enchilada casserole. Here are all the ingredients that you're going to need. You're gonna need shredded cheddar cheese and I found this Mexican style four cheese blend. It's pretty good actually. And then you're gonna need sour cream, lettuce for garnish, green chilies, corn tortillas, not flour, you want the corn, salsa, I got my homemade salsa, um, enchilada sauce. I actually planned on using red enchilada sauce, but we don't have any, so we're gonna be doing green. Black bean spinach, and then I have my beef ready to cook. So I'm gonna put my seasonings in my beef and get that cooking, and then we're gonna layer my beautiful cast iron pan and get that cooking. So these are the ingredients that you're going to need to make this super easy enchilada casserole. So for my beef, I have um, four pounds of ground beef here, and I'm gonna be adding just regular taco seasoning. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of minced onion, a tablespoon of white pepper, and a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a tablespoon of garlic. So let's get everything added to our beef. I do have seasonings that I can do, you know, like adding cumin and stuff, but just for time purposes, I'm gonna just use these. And I try and use the McCormick that doesn't have like the extra preservatives and things like that. So let's get these added here. All right. These are kind of staples that I use a lot in uh, all my cooking. I always do the garlic glass because you don't want to put wet stuff in your seasonings. There we go. If you're like me and you use really, really lean beef, you can add some salsa to this or you can add a little bit of water. This is my Pampered Chef Chopper. Love it. Gonna get this meat going and then we're gonna layer our enchilada casserole into our pan. And I'm gonna use my cast iron pan and I'm gonna bake it at 375, probably for about 30 or 40 minutes, just enough to heat it through. And the reason that I use corn tortillas instead of the um, flour tortillas is when you bake with the flour tortilla, the liquids won't be absorbed into the flour. It kind of makes the flour tortillas mushy, whereas the corn tortillas, they'll cook through it and it'll become part of your casserole. All right, so I'm gonna get this going. I got the beef all cooked through. Now we're gonna start layering for the enchilada casserole. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the salsa and the enchilada sauce on the bottom. And this will keep it from sticking too when you put your shells down. So I'm gonna do some of my salsa and some of my enchilada sauce. There we go. Just spread it around your casserole dish or your cast iron pan, whichever one you're using. Okay, and next up is gonna be the corn tortillas. We're gonna put a layer on the bottom. So this is kind of like our crust on the bottom. So just layer that, and you can overlap some of the tortillas. I actually got this recipe from my daughter, Isabella. She made this not too long ago. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is some of the beef. Do a layer on that. Okay. There we go. I think I'm actually gonna do all the beef on here. Just get it all spread out nice. I never used to cook with cast iron. I've had it forever, and I guess I was just kind of afraid because when you think of cast iron, you think of like more camping type stuff, like taking it camping, and I don't know, I was just afraid to use it. I thought that I would burn everything, and I have just learned to love them, and I've learned how to cook with them and take care of them, and now I'm kind of obsessed with cast iron. I'm gonna be showing you guys my cast iron collection here soon. So you're just gonna spread that out, kind of flatten it a little bit, make it nice. Heather, your beef don't look very greasy. How did you get such nice lean beef? 
<laughs> I got such nice lean beef because we had uh, one of our our cows um, processed. <laughs> Homemade. 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 Homegrown. All right. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a layer or sprinkle the green chilies through. So just put that throughout your pan. I have two cans here just because I have a big dish that I'm using. All right, so just spread out the green chilies over the beef. There we go. Make sure you get to the very edges. Sometimes the edges get missed. There we go. My daughter Haley is um, springing up my house a little bit for me. All right, after the green chilies, we are gonna be doing, sorry about that, cheese. So a layer of cheese. And a little tip for you, if you just stick the cheese in the middle like this, you just are gonna push it out. It just makes it a lot easier. And then worrying about having cheese fly all over the place. And then just kind of fill it in if you need to. You don't need to do too much. You're gonna put cheese on it later. All right, and after the cheese, we're gonna do salsa. Okay, I have my recipe written down there, so I gotta get the order right. This is my own salsa that I canned this summer. Okay. My family loves my salsa. My husband plants lots of tomatoes and then I can the salsa. All right, I'm gonna spread that out. So your husband raised the beef and the tomatoes? Yes, he did. My husband raised the beef and the tomatoes. Wow, he must be pretty cool. He's very cool. I have a narrator today. There's my daughter. Okay. And then after the salsa, we are gonna do a layer of sour cream. I know you're probably thinking, what, you cook sour cream? Yes, just trust the process. All right, so sour cream. <laughs> oh, okay. that was horrible. Okay, spread that out all over the salsa here. There we go. Okay. I got crazy dogs outside. All right. Kind of missed this corner. All right. There we go. Okay. Next up is black beans. Sprinkle those throughout. And I did drain the black beans. Okay. I'm gonna need two cans here. A lot of protein going in this. My husband didn't raise the black beans though. Hmm. Next, we're gonna add fresh spinach. I chopped it just to make it a little more workable. And when you cook with spinach, sometimes you think it might be too much. Um, spinach will kind of cook down. It, it, it shrinks as you cook it. So don't worry about if you think you have too much. All right. And then we're gonna do another layer of cheese. I love cheese so much. And then a layer of tortillas. It's gonna kind of be our top. We got our bottom layer crust and now our top. And you can overlap these. And you can find a package that has like 20, 24 to 36 of them. So you should be able to only buy one package. You should be good. 
Make sure to overlap them. You want a nice top. And then I'm gonna to top it with enchilada sauce. Make sure your shells are down. I don't want it to drip over the edges here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Just tuck that down so it doesn't go over. You want to cover all of your tortilla shells. There we go. Let's lead. You can use red if you want. I had planned on using red, but I was out of the red. So we're gonna be doing green, which is okay. All right, there we go. Just kind of get that in there. And then you're gonna to top it with cheese. And then when it comes out, I'm gonna let it set for a second and I'm gonna top it with some sour cream, black olives, and some lettuce. I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna bake it at 375 degrees for about 45 minutes. Making sure to check it because you don't want your cheese to burn. All right, that looks good. All right, I'll be back when this is done and we can get all of the last minute toppings just to make it look super pretty. The casserole is done. I took it out and I just let it sit just for a little bit because it was nice and bubbly. And so I just used my flea sour cream, did a little bit of loop through it, and then I just put a little bit of lettuce on it and then some black olives just to kind of make it look all fancy, kind of make me look like I'm a professional cook, but it looks amazing. It turned out great. Just make sure when you're baking yours, just to really watch it because when you put cheese on top and you have an, your oven going, of course it's gonna burn the cheese first. So you just have to be really careful. If you notice that happening, just turn down the temperature a little bit um, or maybe put it lower in your oven if you're doing like a convection. But it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait to try it. So thank you for joining me on this Cooking 101 where we made a super easy enchilada casserole. I think my family's gonna love it. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe to Just the Bells 10. Have a wonderful day.